Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This one is an ASUS S46C series and this one do to come with an iCore 3 uh, CPUs and they're really nice build and in this video based on the request that you guys been doing I'm going to show you guys how to open it up how to replace the hard drive on this one they do come with a mechanical hard drive which is a 500 gig some versions do come with 750 gig and but the only thing that, that makes it a little bit faster in this laptop they do give, a, give you an SSD cache type hard drive that is about 24 gig SSD cache in there and I'll suggest for you guys another method I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna show you guys what is the best configuration that you can have because that 24 gig in there it's really acting like a cache type it does wear down really quick so it's not a really great option so let's get into it first so we're going to open it up and check it out first. The tool that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set. I'll suggest you guys grab the iFixit screwdriver set. And we're going to grab the bit number one Phillips. These bits are made of S2 class steel. They're really tough in steel. So, and also you will need an opening tool. For the opening tool, you can get the pro version that will include the operating tools and everything else or simply just go grab yourself a guitar pick a metallic guitar pick are really suitable to opening covers and cases with those on hand now first we're going to remove the bottom cover here this is a service cover so let's go ahead and remove the two screw that holds it in place one screw on each end now we're just going to slide it down a little bit and we're going to lift it up and the hard drive is going to be right on your left side. This is the mechanical hard drive. The SSD hard drive, it is right over here, but I don't know why they had to put this plastic on so I cannot access it. So it is kind of annoying. So I wish that they never done this before. So for the best configuration, what we're going to do, we're going to open it up and we are going to remove this SSD drive from here. Because they do wear down a lot and it is hard to find a bigger capacity SSD in here but it's an option you can find the same one with a higher capacity and have the mechanical drive as a second storage and have your windows on 256 or 500 gig SSD in here but having a 24 gig just acting as a cache cache for the windows is not good so let's go ahead and remove this hard drive by removing one screw right there screw on the caddy over here and one screw right at the back bottom the other screw was holding it from the top side now what we need to do is grab this slider and push it back and the hard drive should come out pretty easy to remove the hard drive to replace it with another hard drive you will need to put it in the same position remember the hinges match or i'll suggest you to grab a solid state drive in this case i have one over here but this one has a caddy so let me remove the caddy on this one so here we have another ssd drive so i would recommend you to remove this one and place an ssd right on top to do that we need the caddy so we need to remove one two screw from on this side and two screw on the other side remove the hard drive in the same position put the new hard drive in there so go ahead and remove this one over here also remember by upgrading the hard drive you will not have any operating system in the new hard drive i made a video how to create a windows 10 usb boot drive uh, i'll leave the link in my video description so check that video to create your windows 10 boot drive is really is free and really simple easy to make once you have your windows 10 boot drive and i'll make another video how to install it on an asus laptop Follow the link, how to boot it up, and how you can install your Windows within 10 to 15 minutes. Grab the hard drive, replace it with this one, put it in, and put the screws right on top, on the caddy, so this one is ready. So I recommend the best brands for the SSD drives are the Crucial brand or the Samsung brand. Those are one of the best ones. The cheap brands are Kingston and AD.
ist dir das keine Annoying? Don't forget the screw by the DVD drive here in the middle. This one is a long one. And pull out the DVD drive, slide it out, put it to one side. Now that we remove all the screws in here, there's one more hidden right in here, a sneaky one. Remove that sneaky screw right there. Now what we need to do is open it up a little bit. We want to grab our opening tool, or in this case, a screw. You tap it and we're going to stick between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. We're going to wiggle around on the sides and we're going to open up, just pretty much twisting it on the sides and put it back down and lift up the bottom cover. There's a cable that goes for the speakers, just pull this one. Don't put on the cable, just put the jack back, put your fingers right on the corners and pull it out, otherwise you can damage the jack. And down here you can see this SSD right here and pretty much I would suggest you guys to remove this SSD and just leave it to one side and replace this one with a good SSD 501 terabyte. But if you do want to go with the SSD in here I'll try to find a link for the 500 gig SSD on this M.2 drive here. This one is not an NVMe, it's a SATA M.2. Oh, they'll try to get this one, but it's already hard to find, really pain in the butt to find, the, find this one. So, and this one is pretty much really worn down and it's not working well, so that's why it's keep crashing. So we're gonna remove this one. And always when you remove it, put the screw back on. Maybe in the future you find one and you wanna put it, so you, there you have the screw right there. And once you remove that, all you need to do is bring it on the side, plug in the speaker cable right there, and pinch it right through the jack, plug in the jack for the speakers, bring the case on top, and just squeeze down the corner, the back, all of them down, and put the screws on the hinges first, two on each side. These are the only different screws, so I'll put those first. And then just grab the rest of the screws, put the DVD drive right in here. And put the rest of the screw all over the place in here, except these two right there. All right, once you're done with this one, just grab your SSD drive here and put it right in there and slide it towards the jack. And put the three screws right on top. And that should be all. Again, and this is the best configuration because we cannot find this one on a higher capacity. So change it to a higher capacity SSD SATA right 2.5 inch and put your windows and you'll be much better this way than having it in a small SSD acting like as a catch cache for the windows. This one is much better configuration and the durability is better. And the last thing down here would be to just grab the bottom cover, bring it over, and slide it right in there and put the two screws. I hope this video helped you guys out to do your own service and upgrade your hard drives and pretty much answers your questions. If you have any question or request, you can leave them in a video comment. I always try to answer them. If you find this video helpful, please click the like button and subscribe. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos and answer your questions. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.